the Philippine Coast Guard PCG plays a crucial role in maintaining the sovereignty and maritime security of the Philippines, an archipelago with over 7,000 islands. In modern warfare, the PCG serves as the first line of defense against various threats including illegal fishing, smuggling, piracy, human trafficking, and foreign intrusions into Philippine waters. A strategic deployment in critical areas such as the West Philippine Sea and Benham Rise allows it to monitor territorial waters, protect natural resources, and ensure freedom of navigation. To counter the increasing militarization of the South China Sea, the Philippines has embarked on an ambitious modernization program for the Philippine Coast Guard, transforming it into a more capable maritime force. A key component of this modernization is the acquisition of BrahMos coastal defense missile systems from India, marking a major leap in the Philippines' coastal defense capability. The BrahMos, a supersonic cruise missile system, can strike targets up to 290 km away with pinpoint accuracy and high maneuverability, making it a formidable deterrent against naval threats. The missile system will enable the PCG and AFP to defend the nation's maritime domain against potential aggressors effectively. The BrahMos versatility allows it to be launched from land, air, or sea, and it can engage various service targets, including ships and land-based installations enhancing the overall deterrence and defense posture of the Philippines. This acquisition allies with the Philippine Navy's broader modernization under the Horizon 2 phase of the Armed Forces Modernization Program. The Philippine Coastal Patrol Fleet serves as the backbone of the nation's maritime security. The fleet consists of various vessels each designed for specific operational roles. The crowd zoos of the Philippine Navy, the BRP Jose Rizal and BRP Antonio Lula, are manned iron frigates equipped with advanced radar, sonar systems, and air defense capabilities. These frigates are armed with surface to air missiles, anti ship missiles, and torpedoes, making them capable of offensive and defensive operations. Their advanced sensor suits and command systems also make them vital in integrate with Allied naval forces for joint operations. The BRP Gabriel Silang, this OPV, is a versatile asset for the PCG, serving multiple roles including patrol, search and rescue, and humanitarian assistance. The vessel is equipped with modern communication and surveillance systems, allowing it to maintain a wide operational range while ensuring the safety of Philippine waters. Additionally, the Philippine Coast Guard operates various other patrol boats and multi-mission patrol vessels for enforcing maritime laws ensuring environmental protection and conducting disaster response. These vessels are armed with small caliber naval guns and advanced surveillance systems, enhancing their ability to track and intercept threats in Philippine waters. The Philippines' defense cooperation with allied nations has been instrumental in bolstering the PCG's capabilities particularly through technology transfers, military aid, and joint training exercises. The Philippines' long-standing alliance with the United States has been vital in modernizing its Coast Guard and naval forces. The Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement has allowed the U.S. to provide military equipment, training, and intelligence sharing. 
the PCC also participates in the belly cutting exercises, a joint military exercise with the U.S., which helps develop interoperability and readiness in defending the Philippines' maritime domain. Japan has been a key partner in strengthening the PCG by providing Mataron response vessels, enhancing the PCG's ability to conduct search and rescue, maritime law enforcement, and disaster response operations. Australia has supported the PCG with training programs and provided coastal surveillance equipment, focusing on enhancing maritime domain awareness and operational readiness. These collaborations have enabled the PCG to improve its response times, enhance its surveillance capabilities, and modernize its fleet with state-of-the-art vessels and systems. To protect its extensive coastline, the Philippines has developed an advanced coastal surveillance radar system, which play a critical role in maritime domain awareness. These radar systems are deployed along key points of the archipelago, enabling the PCG and the AFP to detect and track foreign vessels, fishing boats, and potential threats in real time. The coastal surveillance radar system is integrated into a broader command, control, communication, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance network that allows for quicker decision-making and real-time intelligence sharing with military and law enforcement agencies. This system has significantly boosted the PCG's ability to monitor maritime activities and respond promptly to any incursions. In addition to radar, the PCG has increasingly turned to drones to enhance its surveillance capabilities. Unmanned aerial vehicles provide a cost-effective and flexible method for monitoring vast areas, including the EEZ and remote islands. These drones are used for reconnaissance missions, border patrol, anti-piracy operations, and disaster relief efforts. Equipped with high-resolution cameras and advanced sensors, they provide real-time data on unusual activities or suspicious vessels, allowing for rapid responses. Looking forward, the Philippine Coast Guard has an ambitious roadmap for growth aimed at bolstering its maritime security capabilities. These development plans include the acquisition of more patrol vessels, frigates, and Mantaron response vessels to expand its operational search and readiness.